We did about 15, 25 kilo bass per acre. Okay. And for that one, you broadcast it. Okay. One thing about organic fertilizer is good for basal application. Mm. When you talk of basal application, you spread. Welcome back to today's farming episode again with the CEO of Oswald Agric Enterprise, a farmer, a businessman, and an agri consultant, aka Agric Man. In the last video, we talked about planting distance, and in today's video, we are going to talk about fertilizer application. You are welcome back to today's family episode again. Uh, thank you, ma. Okay, so today we want to look at fertilizer application. What's the best time to apply fertilizer, and everything that we need to know about fertilizer application? But the first question is when we say fertilizer, what is fertilizer or plant nutrients? When you talk of plant nutrients, mm -hmm. no, nutrients are very important. Mm. Anytime we talk of plants, I mentioned that they are living organisms. Okay. So they have to grow, they have to bear fruits. Okay. So plant nutrients can be defined as um, any chemical element that is essential to the nourishment of the plant health. Okay. Yes, that is plant nutrient. So when you talk of plant nutrient, you see, in our daily life, when we want to pick a particular food, we are advised by the uh, doctors that we have to eat a fruit um, that have maybe carbohydrates, protein, mm -hmm. or vitamins. Okay. So for the plant too, they have some chemical elements mm -hmm. that the plants can use to grow. Okay. And in chemical elements, for the plant nutrient, we have what is called nitrogen. This element has been divided into two. We have primary nutrient nutrients and the secondary nutrients okay. when you talk about the primary nutrient they are very essential why mm -hmm. like in education system primary school if you don't go to primary school you cannot go to secondary school mm -hmm. but you can look you can go to primary school without going to secondary school okay so it's a primary nutrients mm -hmm. and they are nitrogen phosphorus okay and potassium that is the primary nutrients that the plant needs mm -hmm. and in this nutrients we have type of plant nutrients it can be grouped in organic and inorganic nutrients okay so uh, organic and inorganic nutrients looking at the names is going to be a broad topic yes so we are going to limit ourselves to the organic nutrients and then in the next video we'll talk about the inorganic nutrients so when you say organic nutrients what is it you see as i said the nutrients are very important for the plant health for the seed to be germinated and also for the seed to grow and also to fight against diseases mm -hmm. that is why these nutrients are important but for the organic nutrients i would say they are the natural nutrients oh okay when i say the natural nutrients we use the natural organism like the poultry grass okay the cow grass that organic and the natural debris mm -hmm. you can use that one as a fertilizer oh, okay for the maize for the maize okay and that is the organic one mm -hmm. and the same that the same way that organic fertilizer we have the processed one that one is fallen one mm -hmm. it is same um, pottery grass but it has passed through a lot of processes processes okay yes and it's important that that's one you can get example is green fat mm -hmm. green fat is an organic fertilizer but it is a process one have you seen this one, one. Yeah, oh, yes okay. it's a process one okay and it, it comes in a type and shape mm. some will be like a sawdust okay and you see this one it's a granular one and you can get organic fertilizer which is also a liquid organic fertilizer like this one is liquid organic fertilizer what's the name abapa abapa and we have okay. one called plant feed it's a plant feed and also a best organic liquid fertilizer and it's good for maize okay. and all other crops okay so in the nursery when you talk of organic fertilizer in the inorganic one it's a synthetic one okay. it's the chemicals one we extract the nitrogen phosphorus and everything it's a chemical it's a synthetic mm. but the organic one is not synthetic okay. there is no chemical formulation okay okay so um i don't i don't want to assume okay. yeah I've seen Abapa. Yeah. So that leads me to the next question. Yeah. Do we produce some in Ghana? For the organic fertilizers, we produce in Ghana. Okay. Because nowadays, the inorganic fertilizers, the MPKs, are very expensive. expensive. So we are but trying to go about The mm -hmm. name is, is sound local. Yes, That's local. what I'm asking uh -huh. whether I produce yes. in Ghana. And this one too is a plant feed, mm. but it's a locally produced okay. and it's organic fertilizer. What's the name? Plant feed. So those are the types of organic fertilizers. Yes, we have a lot of types, mm. but in, in in the short, we have the liquid one and the granular one. Okay, so now how much or how many do you need for an acre if you decide to choose, um, let's say the abapa or the, the plant fed, right? Yes, you see the important one, the one I show you, the green fed mm. is in bags, 25 kilo or 50 kilo bags. Okay. 
for that one you may need about 15 25 kilo bars per acre okay and for that one you broadcast it okay one thing about organic fertilizer is good for um top uh, um, uh, basal application yeah. when you talk of basal application you spread the organic fertilizer or you broadcast it on the land then you plow oh okay yes that is the best use for that organic you fertilizer broadcast it before you, plow. you plow that's the best use okay. although you can use top dressing you put it under the means and you cover mm -hmm. that one is there but the best method is to broadcast the organic fertilizer that's the best method that, that's good uh -huh. okay so does it mean that before i start planting my maize yeah because we have done the uh, uh, clearing of land yes so the last uh, plowing that i'll do yes i have to broadcast the organic fertilizer, organic fertilizer yes. before i plow that's good okay but you say you need about 20 uh, uh, 15, 15 bars. Bars. yes oh okay or the 25 yeah, yes but when when they talk about the liquid one mm. it's different okay because liquid one you can use two liters mm. for one acre oh okay yes because that one you're going to mix it with water and spray mm. on the means okay so in planting maize how many times do i need to apply the fertilizer are you talking about the organic yes the organic fertilizer organic fertilizer it matures yes organic fertilizer for the broadcast one times is once okay yes it's once because for that one it releases the chemicals or the nutrients slowly mm. that is why people don't like organic fertilizer it's it's not like the inorganic one when you apply it to the just three it is such so it mm. but for the uh, organic fertilizer the system is very slow it will lose the um, chemicals or the, the element nutrients slowly but it's also effective okay so when you use it this year even the next year the nutrient is still in the land yes, in the oh, soil okay. that you can apply oh okay yeah. so you can uh, you, in planting you yeah have you apply it once yes oh okay what if i decide to apply it twice or three times once is good for once organic yeah oh, yeah, okay. yes so when you apply I apply the organic fertilizer yeah. do you still need any other fertilizer again or that one is just okay for if you can afford the inorganic fertilizer for that okay. one too you can apply okay but it's two if it is uh, maybe two bars mm. this time you may need to be one back oh okay uh, because you use the organic fertilizer oh okay for the liquid one mm. you use it after planting okay because for that one the you apply the dialect on the mix the yes of fertilizer. <laughs> oh, okay so it, what if i use the cow dung to plow the land mm -hmm. and i plant my maize yeah when can I apply the liquid uh, organic fertilizer? From two weeks after germination, you can use it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or, or when you, you want to apply um, this armyworms insecticide, mm. you can add that uh, liquid organic liquid fertilizer to it. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. But what if I choose not to add? You can use it direct. Okay. And then what if I also choose not to add organic fertilizer? Can I use just only the liquid organic fertilizer throughout? You can use the liquid throughout. Oh, okay. But for that one, every two weeks, mm -hmm. you have to apply. You have to apply. Oh, okay. okay. Because this one, uh, the liquid one, when you use the liquid spray one, you see the, the plant will absorb the nutrients through the leaves. Oh, okay. So uh, you yes, spray it on you the spray leaves. it on the leaves. Oh, okay. Okay. So every two weeks not is better. On not on the leaves. There are two ways that the plant can absorb the nutrients, mm. either on the leaves or through the roots. Oh, okay. So when you apply it on the soil the plant to use the nutrients through the roots okay and when you apply it through spraying through the leaves oh okay so how much is the liquid fertilizer the liquid organic fertilizer yes it's 35 to 40 cities per liter per liter how many liters do you need for an acre as i said you can use two liters two when liters. the plants are very young yeah oh okay you can use maybe 150 to 200 mils per one nursery Okay. Yeah. But for the granular one, the one in bags, for that one, um, it's around 100 cities, 20, 25 kilos. Yeah. 100 to 150 cities. 100 to 150 cities. Yeah. Oh, okay. For that one, it costs cost effective, unlike the inorganic fertilizer. Mm. Now, the inorganic fertilizer has become so expensive. Okay. That's why we are promoting the organic fertilizer. Mm. You can do your own organic fertilizer. It's very simple. Okay. Yes. So, as a new farmer, I want to start maize farming this year. Yeah. You recommend I go for the organic fertilizer. If, if you, I, if if you I are, can't afford the inorganic. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video with organic fertilizer. In our next video, we are going to talk about the inorganic fertilizer, how to apply it, the cost involved, and everything that you need to know about the inorganic fertilizer. I'll be leaving Mr. Boachi's contact on the screen in the description section. If you have any question for him, you can call him and he will attend to you. 
let us know which aspect of the video you enjoyed most in the comment section if you have any question let me know that in the comment section so that in our next video we can address it we'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.